680 CJOB. Brett McGarry with Tristan Field Jones filling in for Greg Mackling this week and actually tomorrow and Friday and Monday. It's Hal Anderson filling in for G Mac. Tristan has done a fine job so far. So thank you very much, sir. Um, and um, it's going to be hard for Tristan probably to get through this next segment without mocking me because Tristan, as you recall, uh, went on the, the 19th annual Laker Classic was last weekend. Right. right, a couple of weekends ago, and uh, I was a four-day extravaganza in Oak Island Resort in Western Manitoba, five rounds of golf in four days. And prior to that, I had played four. So I played Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, took Thursday off, and then played Friday, Saturday, two rounds on the Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So by Tuesday, I was in a lot of pain. I'm turning 40 in September, and I can't. It's it's become painfully obvious. I mean, I know it's it is obvious. I'm getting old, but I don't want to be in pain. And there there are clear there have to be some steps that I can take to ensure that my knee isn't so sore that I can barely stand, that my back isn't sore, that my stomach isn't sore. Everything hurts from golf. It's not it's not a physically demanding game. Sandy Knox is. Our guest, she is an international fitness trainer. She's the co-owner of Body Balance Studio, which is at uh, 1121 Henderson Highway. She's an independent beach body coach and Canada's top trainer in 2015-2016. Wow. She was our guest in uh, January. We had her on to talk about New Year's resolutions as far as fitness is concerned, and I've been looking for a reason to bring her back. And she's here now. My body is breaking down, Sandy. Help me. I am here to save you. <laughs> well, that's kind of sad. I mean, I just love the train of thought that's coming out of Brad McGarry. This is going to be a fun, happy segment. Here we go. Let's this fix the car crash. This is going to be fun. Where do we start? We start with a plan. You know what? And if I had a dollar for every time I heard that somebody just destroyed themselves in a golf game or a soccer game or the family trip or hiking or they went glow bowling for three hours and wonder why they couldn't walk the next day, this is an epidemic that's happened every day. I'm here to save you. So seriously, it comes down to a plan. We'll have some exercises that you can actually do daily that anybody can do to prepare your body for exercise. Because seriously, you wouldn't jump out of bed and hike a mountain the next day, would you? No. No. We're going to train for it, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what I would have done for you... Do you want three exercises? Yes, please. Oh, I don't think we can do them here, but I'll tell you all about them. <laughs> okay. So what I would have you do is, of course, I know you have a six-pack, but we want to work on the... Uh, well, I, I, I consume <laughs> many six-packs. <laughs> so that's what the six-pack that, was. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I heard six-pack there somewhere. Okay, so first off, I would have you sit on the floor, I would hand you a weight, and you would do a seated twist. So you're working on your core because golfing, well, it is swinging. I know there was some, maybe some liquor beverage goes on there. I don't know what's happening. But at some point, you're swinging clubs, Yeah. right? So you want that rotation from the midsection, right? That torso rotation, you're going to get that with that exercise. That's why my, I noticed, like, the next day, it was right in my, right in the, the yes. midsection. I, I, every time I went to sit up, I, I, there was just this pinch, like, oh. I, clearly, I, I got more exercise than I was used to. Absolutely. You know, it would have been your abdominals in the front. It could have been your, your QLs on the side. It could be your obliques, your lower back. It's all involved in that twisting. I would have also had you do a band exercise. We have them at the studio. We call it Training for Life. And we have the bands. They attach to the wall, but they're great little things that anybody can buy. And you swing it over your door. There's great attachment. It's a tube band with handles. And I would have you do a twisting motion, exactly what you would do when you swing the golf club. So you're training those muscles. You're building your strength, and you're getting that range of motion. Okay. Sounds good, right? Sounds great. All right. And then I would add in some lunges, just basically stepping forward and stepping back and practicing that. And that way you're building up the muscles so that you're. this is an annual event that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you could do this every other day leading up to that, because who doesn't want to have a better game? Now, you said lunges and not lunches, right? Not lunches. And oh. I did hear something about lunches in here, too, before we went on the air. Yeah, we were. Uh, um, we, we just talked. Yeah, our lunches were not uh, very good. Oh. They were, <laughs> we're going to get to the diet. They were edible. Yeah. Does that count How for much something? time do we have? Uh, <laughs> we have another about 20 minutes or so, so <laughs> lots of time. <laughs> Sandy's here to fix us, Tristan. One day you'll be turning 42. Uh, so. Got some duct tape and some hammer and nails, and we'll, I'll fix you. Oh, you, well, you, you need a bulldozer, I think, that you know, too. Well, I appreciate the, 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 these exercise tips being for the golf, because I'm a once-a-week golfer. Typically, I play on Sunday, and that's it. So to, to go on vacation and then play nine rounds 
in uh, eight days as opposed to the usual one round was a bit of a shock to the system and clearly it was one that my body in its current state is not equipped to handle. Well, the other thing that could have helped you too is it's not so much because people, there's a lot of people don't like exercise. So they go, oh, great, I'm going exercise every day for the rest of my life. Well, here's the thing. You could have done some simple stretches that actually would have helped you along through the day. And I'm sure a lot of the crew would have loved that too. Things like uh, simply bending over and touching your knees. You notice I didn't say touch your toes? Because not, yes. every, not everybody's there, right? You want to have a place to go. Touch your knees, touch your toes. You could have been in your golf cart. I'm assuming we're using the golf cart. Yeah, we're was... running around in circles with them. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're paying somebody to carry the clubs, right? Yeah, we're you could in the have golf cart. done some twists. Uh, we could do that right now. Who's listening? Yeah, we could actually sit up nice and tall and right. just twist. Twist. You didn't know you were going to be exercising today, right? Just twist, twist side to side, looking at. There's oh, a that, twist. You know what? Yeah, that's a, okay. So you, you know, do I reach over? Like there, if I'm twisting to my right? Well, see that, that'll be a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's only laughing. And only laughing. Yeah. Well, I, it's, that's funny that you think that I have a hundred dollars extra in my wallet. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are great tips. I mean, this is uh, absolutely this, because there are so many things that, that this kind of got me to start got me thinking about. Like, for example. Um, I remember, this was about five years ago now when I still had a house, and I went out to the backyard in February or March, whenever the snow started to melt, and I had to clean up the reactivated dog poop that started to emerge as the snow was melting. Oh, dear. Um, and I, I clearly had not done a good job throughout the winter. I was out there for maybe a half hour, and the next day my hamstrings were so sore because I just went out and I wasn't prepared to be out there for as long as I was, and I could barely walk the next day. Uh huh. Were you just bending straight over, like not even bending your knees? Because that, that's the common thing, is when people are bending over, doing stuff like this, these duties, if you will, and they're bending over and they're not bending your knees. So the idea is you want to bend your knees if you're bending down to pick something up. Because if, you, if you're just going to bend down and stand straight up, it's a lot of strain on your back. Okay. So bend your knees to get down there, and then your hamstrings was killing you the next day. Again, the touch your toes, touch your knees would have stretched out the hamstrings. But the other thing is a lot of people complain about tight hamstrings when it's actually their quads. It's actually the front of the legs. So you could stand with your hand on the wall, bring your heel up towards your butt, and stretch your quads. Problem solved. Are you writing down all these notes, Brett? Because this is really informative. I'm going to go back and listen to this again. I think I will, too. I brought right a binder. Oh, did you re oh, just no. is there a oh. <laughs> I was going to say, is there a test after this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to have it, because a large segment of our audience is in this kind of age bracket, whether it's uh, people like me who are approaching 40, maybe they've already exceeded 40, and, and you're, you're uh, uniquely equipped to handle this because I was stunned to learn that you are 46. Yes. When you told me you're 46, I thought, come on. I think that was, didn't I, that was my reaction. Come on. You did. You're like, come on. Really? So, but really, and I'm doing more now at 46 than I was at 20. To be honest, I was, you know, are we on there? Yeah, of course we are. I was a junk food addict in my 20s. Mm -hmm. I've been a trainer for 12 years. But, yeah, I was into the Fruit Loops and the Fruit Roll-Ups. And the, if it had fruit in it, I, I was eating it. And well, I what? wasn't doing much of anything. Were you eating actual fruit or just fruit products? Fruit products. Okay. <laughs> fruit assimilation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, and I wasn't really doing a lot physically. I wasn't somebody that was on all the sports teams, you know. So when you see trainers, don't always think that, oh, they must have been born to train. No, that was, I became a trainer, like literally. So now at 46, I mean, um, I have a black belt in Taekwondo. I've done kickboxing. My husband uh, has got me into judo and elbow things. So now I'll throw people around for fun. And uh, yeah, like I just keep adding on. The more I do, the more my body wants to do. And I learned that from my grade eight phys ed teacher. She was just on fire all the time about fitness. I never understood it because she was 40, which of course we all thought she was overly ill, yeah. right? <laughs> and now here we are in our 40s and doing it. Well, and I'm going to, we said we would look for a spot where it felt natural for the conversation. You referenced uh, your husband, Sheldon Yefter, is also in the studio. He is uh, husband of Sandy Knox, also the manager, and chauffeur in the muscle, as was uh, introduced <laughs> to me. And Sheldon, you are 41. Yes. And you, did you say that you are now more active than you ever were with your judo? Yes. And at, at age 41. At age 41. What, uh, and you also have had uh, some work done on your knees. 
Yeah, I had both my knees scoped, uh, cartilage cleaned out. How long ago was that? Uh, first one was in 97, and the uh, second one was in 03. So why is it now at age 41 you feel like, you feel as though you're in the best shape that yeah. you've been in? Because of Sandy. Yeah. yeah. With her help. I was um, queuing. <laughs> yeah, that was the correct answer. Right? Yeah, that's right. Um, even after my surgeries, uh, things weren't still right or stable. I needed knee braces, and I wasn't comfortable enough to get back into the sport. And um, with Sandy's help and doing yoga and um, healing exercises, uh, as well as uh, muscle building and um, cardio, that helped me get back and feel strong enough and stable enough. Uh, that I still wanted to fight, and, you know, I still have it in me, so, and uh, not only am I doing that, but I'm also helping train other uh, upcoming athletes. Sandy, he mentioned yoga. For those who don't know what yoga is, maybe can you just tell us, give us like sort of a Reader's Digest summary, what exactly is yoga? Absolutely. I like to just keep it simple. You know, a lot of people will come to me and say, oh, well, you know, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible. But the thing is, it's actually the other way around. You actually have to do yoga to get flexible. And the style of yoga that I actually teach is Hatha yoga. It's very slow moving. So really, yoga for me is stretching and breathing. And it's everybody's going to use it for a different reason. I have people that come to yoga. All they want to do is breathe for an hour. They just want somebody to tell them when to breathe, where to stand. You know, And that's their idea of relaxation. It's mental relaxation for them. Then I have other people that come and they just really have tight hip flexors, you know, they've been sitting in a movie theater for two hours and they and they can't stand up, or their quads are aching them, or they've been carrying the kids all day long and their shoulders are tired. So it's basically a nice series of stretches that are joined together to flow. That's basically how I describe yoga. I'm sure there'll be other people that come with far bigger explanation, but I like to keep it simple. Sandy, we got a text from one of our listeners, Mick, here. Uh, I don't know if this is the type of exercise you'd approve, with, uh, approve of, but uh, Mick was suggesting to Brett, hey, you can bend down to yank a bud out of your bag. That's intensive training with a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I knew we were going to go in this direction. Well, first of all, I, mean, I, I, I like where you're going, Mick, but uh, Budweiser, come uh, on. you got to drink local. Uh, uh, we're going to continue our conversation with Sandy Knox, who is an international fitness trainer. She's the co-owner of Body Balance Studio and independent beach body coach body balance located at 1121 henderson highway she was canada's top trainer 2015 2016 and we're talking about the fact that i am turning 40 next month and after the annual boys golf tournament uh, just last week i could feel my body just breaking down and i it's clear i need to make some changes in my life so we're going to continue about our chat about that after your forecast up next you're listening to Mackling and McGarry on 680 CJOB. Oh, we got here, uh, Samantha, is somebody on the on the horn from Vir driving truck in Virginia? You got it. Wow. Yeah, I'm listening to the uh, 680 CJOB app. That's us, yeah. And uh, every weekend your show is on, and that's my thing. I listen to your show every weekend. What are you hauling? Going to Africa to make up stuff, going to Toronto. Oh, yeah, make up to Toronto. Make up to Toronto. Sure, 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 why not? <laughs> Al Anderson Weekends, brought to you by Santa Lucia Pizza. Weekend mornings from 7 to 10. After a long day in the saddle, there's nothing like spotting the chuck wagon tent over yonder and smelling some good grilling. I get the same yearning when I hear about Lux Barbecue Company's tent sale. Powerful savings on big names like Napoleon's, Weber, Big Green Egg and Broil King, and whopping sales on floor models, discontinued stock, accessories, and furniture. So giddy up to Lux Barbecue this weekend, unless you're an idiot who wouldn't know deal if you tripped over it. Lux Barbecue Company's tent sale, 1290 Keniston Grill, with pride. You deserve a six-star experience at Jim Patterson Subaru Winnipeg. You deserve the 2017 Legacy Sedan. It's a top safety pick plus with the highest safety rating. Comes a symmetrical all-wheel drive and boxer engine included. Get yours with cash incentives up to $4,400. Get the six-star experience at Jim Patterson Subaru Winnipeg. Your first and last stop on Regent. 
So, you got it. Live racing, Wed Fry Sat at 715. But keep in mind, Sunday, September 3rd, the long weekend for a Cinnaboya Downs second indoor outdoor carnival atmosphere night market. Food trucks, live entertainment, beer garden, exhibitors galore, and more. Just five bucks. Sunday, September 3rd, 3 to 11. And of course, 140 VLTs every day, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. So, Wed Fry Sat Racing, Sunday, September 3rd, night market. ASDowns.com you suppress your urge to color outside the lines at work. You keep up with the Joneses in your neighborhood. But your home is your place to unleash your creativity. There's nothing dull on your walls thanks to Dulux Paints. Dulux is Canada's color destination. Their products are trusted and used all over the nation. Dulux is also your local paint store that cares. Visit Dulux.ca for information on products, colors, promos, and services. Find your nearest location today. Stop putting it off. Experience design, dedicated service. Kitchen Craft has spent over 45 years keeping that promise. The kitchen is where your family comes together, and you can rely on Kitchen Craft to provide high-quality products that keep up with our everyday lives. Their family of devoted designers and service and installation professionals do everything they can to turn your home into one you love, complete with a lifetime guarantee. Visit one of their two Winnipeg showrooms, Region Avenue or Keniston Boulevard, to meet the family and see for yourself. Kitchen Craft, experience design, dedicated service. 680 CJOB. Weather. Cloudy with showers this afternoon and a high of 16. Clearing tonight, low 7. Sunny tomorrow with a high of 24. And on Friday, mostly sunny with a high of 25. It's 14 at 680 CJOB. Mackling and McGarry on 680 CJOB. Fred McGarry with Tristan Field Jones filling in for Greg Mackling. Our guest is Sandy Knox. She is an international fitness trainer. She is the co owner of Body Balance Studio, an independent beach body coach. Uh, the studio is at 1121 Henderson Highway. She's Canada's top trainer, 2015, 2016, and she's 46 years old, which makes her uniquely qualified, uh, because I never would have guessed she's 46, but this is what happens when you take care of yourself, and that's why uh, I need help from her, because I turned 40 in September, and after the Laker Classic, the golf tournament, I could feel my body just breaking down. So we've talked about how I could have done some stretches or exercises to prepare myself. I failed to do that. So the day after the tournament, I'm sitting at home. I can barely move. Uh, everything hurts. What can I do in that instance? How do I bring myself back to life? Okay, this is so important. I got some great tips here. I'm probably going to count them on my fingers so I don't lose track. Okay, so the first one is definitely fluids. Get in those fluids. That doesn't mean whiskey. That doesn't mean beer. That doesn't mean wine. Okay, people, I know where this is going. Notice you didn't say rum? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a fluid, Brad. Uh, That's still fluid. <laughs> fluids. I mean water. Okay, at least eight ounces. Okay, and then second is getting in those light stretches. And then getting into a bath of Epsom salts. Now, a lot of people don't know what Epsom salts are. We use them at home. It is a maintenance program for us. It doesn't mean you're falling apart when you need to have an Epsom salt bath. It means you're maintaining things. So you can buy it in any department store, any grocery store. It comes in like jugs, almost like a milk jug. And you're going to put two cups into your bath water and sit in there for half an hour. And, and the reason why that's so good is the magnesium actually helps release the lactic acid buildup in the muscles. So that's what you were feeling. That, that soreness is that lactic acid built up and you're probably feeling it everywhere. So sit in there for half an hour. And then the other thing you can do too is if anybody has massage therapists that you see, uh, don't get the relaxation massage therapy. Get therapeutic, deep tissue, really relax those muscles. Well, uh, you made the reference to the movie theater example earlier. That actually yeah. happened to me last night where I went to see a movie called Wind River at Grand Park. Very good movie, by the way. But the thing with Grand Park is their, their seats are super comfortable, but they, they recline. And I don't like to be that guy who does recline because if people recline into my knees, that's really annoying. So I kind of, I had to sort of kind of cross my legs just at my ankles to anchor myself so that the seat wouldn't recline. But as a result of that, after sitting like that for two hours, when I went to stand up, uh, my knees really cracked in an odd and painful way. So <laughs> should yes. I be, I never even thought I would have to prepare myself to go to a movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is what it comes down to, yes. And you know what? You're not the only one. You probably weren't even looking around, but I bet you almost half the people took a little bit to stand up. Two hours seated in, in a, on an airplane, in a vehicle, you know, you're on a road trip, uh, in the movie theater. Absolutely. You can do some stretches before you even stand up. You can cross your right leg over your left. So you'd actually take your heel and bring it up on that knee, opposite knee. And you get a really nice stretch of the hip and the glute area, so that really would have helped you. Oh, we're doing it right now. We're getting a demo. Okay. Yeah, so that's good, right? Okay, so you're there. So now take a breath, and then you're going to exhale as you come forward. You're just going to lean forward. Okay. Lean forward. Not until your head hits the desk, but... Oh, okay. there it is. Okay. There it so is. Like almost, like yeah. Almost and then hold, hold that. Almost a complete hold, hold right forward. And then switch to the other side. You'd hold it for 10 to 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. And then slowly make your way up to a standing position and instead of having your feet together put one foot in front of the other so that you have your strong leg at the back to push yourself up i always teach people how to get out of a chair like that it's it's much easier than having your feet together and pushing straight up much easier on your knees yeah it's fun like these are these are things that 20 year old brett would have laughed about <laughs> but almost 40 year old brett needs to know these things now because i go to a lot of movies and uh the odd time that i don't get an aisle seat um i need to figure out how to deal with that yeah i was a grumpy bear i'm looking at shell and i'm wondering if we should share what i've got in my leg and the reason why i can't get up out of a movie theater share so here it is guys um, I actually had an accident in 1998. I have a titanium plate and five screws in my left leg. I literally shattered the fibula, the outside bone, and cracked the tibia on the inside. Oh I was God. told I would never walk properly again, and, well, here we are years later. I'm into martial arts and everything else, but here's a classic example. We are usually the last people to leave the theater because Sheldon actually needs to wait till I do my series of stretches before I stand up. Because what happens is I have to work that leg 24-7 hard all the time. And the minute I'm sitting for two hours, it's actually the worst thing for me. Really? The more I move, the better it is. I'm part robot. <laughs> yeah. Where's the oil? Well, that's, I was going to say, that's fantastic. Isn't that exciting? Well, that, I mean, that's why you're, you're in such great shape. Part of it is because instead of having, you know, the, all the microwave garbage that we might go indulge in, you just have, you know, a little bit of water and just exactly. oil the machine. What do you do when you get? Up I, I actually do a couple of leg crosses like what I just showed you then I stand up and I wait a little bit for it to kick in and then I have to slowly heel toe walk and just sort of wake it up because it, it does get stiff it would be similar to somebody having um, an arthritis stiffness episode in their legs so I just walk slowly I get to the edge and if there's no rail or anything I'll actually have Sheldon on the opposite side as support and then by the time I get to the bottom of the stairs we're good again yeah. isn't that something well, that's good. Yeah. What do you do when you wake up? I wake up in the morning, and I sit on the edge of the bed, and I just wait a little minute there, and I, I slowly get up one foot behind, the stronger leg behind, and that leg in the front, and then come up. And then it usually takes me, uh, I'm better now, like with Sheldon's massage therapy that I've had over the years, because the accident happened when I was uh, at 27, 28, somewhere around there, and then I didn't meet him till I was 32, so I never had a massage on it, but he's helped the range of motion definitely. I was... I uh, wasn't able to do a squat when I met him um, because of the range of motion, and now I have no problems. So, yeah, I take it a little slow in the morning, but I also do squats and lunges almost every day and stretching every day to keep it. People could use that as an excuse to not do something, right? What's your website? www.body-balance.ca, and people can also friend me on Facebook, Sandy Knox. Sandy Knox is her name. She's an international fitness trainer. She is a co-owner of Body Balance Studio, and she's an independent beach body coach. The studio is at 1121 Henderson Highway. She was here because I'm turning 40 in September, and I can feel my body breaking down, and she gave me some tips to help alleviate some of that... Uh that sadness and pain and all that crap that comes with you. Coming up to 3 o'clock. This is an uplifting segment. Holy moly. Coming up to 3 o'clock on 680C.